it's the time of the wildebeest again, and the tawny shapes are drawn by the need to devour. Is watched from the shadows. Quickly, the hyenas identify the lions and realize that the males are absent. Because Matsumi is weaker, she has to struggle to fight her way into the feeding frenzy. The noise attracts the entire southern clan. As the numbers mount up, the battle begins. <laughs> Perhaps sparked by recent memories, Matsumi is the most aggressive. of exploiting chaos. They keep Matsumi isolated while attacking other lionesses viciously. The lions are helpless, and from the safety of the trees, they can only watch their kill disappear. flows tonight. This incident, at least, was simply a struggle for food. Competition between the super predators. A few months later, the southern clan patrols over the same patch of Sabuti that soaked up the lioness's life. They are hunting. For the first time, the princess has joined the matriarch on the hunt. <laughs> Zebras have returned on their migration, and the clan methodically runs down the folds not bothering about stealth. back from his patrol, always ready to confront hyenas. <laughs>
is the matriarch. It is a moment of supreme opportunity for the male. Not concerned with food, his drive is to kill. Her back is broken. The matriarch can't survive a brutal mauling by a male lion. On her very first hunt, the princess is faced with a catastrophe. She has only just passed from total dependence on her mother's milk into the harsh world where she will have to fend for herself. As the princess finds her, the matriarch breathes her last. This is not a competition for food. When Matsumi leads the pride out to meet the hyenas, it is to do battle once again with their eternal enemies. Frenzied calls filter across the bush to the keen ears of Intwai Dumela, he who greets with fire.